Hi, welcome. I've just been working the last three, four hours on Compton. And um, maybe you've noticed, but if you launch, uh, well, probably something like Arch Linux Compton, and then you get this 4.0, but when we press on it, we get a 5.0. So we have a major upgrade from uh, these guys here from that's github and it's moving from four to five which broke our configuration in uh, open box just open box but it made me take a look at the upstream url so it's interesting to know that compton is very important it has some open box i3 op awesome bsbwm xmonad 5 out of 12 desktops it's on so i will take took a look again right so we have here you should maybe know this it's forked from a guy that is actually stopped with developing you see april 30 2017 two years ago three years ago and somebody picked it back up so this one back so this usually something is developing these uh, Compton which is like I said quite important since it five desktops are counting on Compton.com for manager to make uh, shadows and to make transparency and fading and all that so that's basically what Compton does so make it make it nice if we do control T we get something transparent if you have a, a background you can see through it right so that's basically Compton at work and the shadow here at the side so he did a major update fine then i went to look at the content.sample.conf and i took a look at this code you can always take a raw and if you take a raw you can control a control c and put it in a file that you call content.conf of course not sample but content.conf so i started working with this version from him thinking He's a developer, he should know the settings and parameters. Since when we started running our older Compton.conf in version 5, we get lots of parameters, is not used, is depreciated. I think five or six of these lines telling us, look, there's this major version and all these settings that we used in the past is are not used anymore, depreciated, etc., etc. And even just just open box but uh, that one went all dark meaning if compton doesn't work your terminal is going to be completely black your conkey is not transparent it's going, going the background is going to be black so that's your signal that compton is failing okay so i took this version and what did i do uh, let's go here Guys, I'm just filming this on, on uh, PSP WM, but doesn't matter. Uh, it could be on, on all of these five guys. Awesome uh, BSP WM, i3 open box, and Xmonad, right? It's all Compton. And um, in this case, BSP WM, it's in here. We have this file.compton, and I have two things in here. So you'll see that in every open box i3, eh, one of the five every five of the, the uh, desktops you'll see these two guys here this guy is the exact copy of the link you just saw so that's the content sample.conf and 2018 12 21 that's his last update to the system so we can always track is there a new sample.conf is there a new sample.conf right so we can follow it up that's one and two, we've uh, of course taken a look at our previous settings. We don't want to throw overboard all our settings, but if you do now a compare, you can pretty much follow on, follow here what we uh, actually changed. So this is not important. This is just text to add on. But the shadow radius we take not seven, we take five five, and there is a possibility to make a log file. So I've used it. It works. Uh, the only thing you have to change here is of course the word Eric and to your own personal login and folder there and all these possibilities the text that we used to have we still have the 
explanations there in between but like these things it just has four or five lines we have worked hard to 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 figure out all these applications to make sure that they don't have sh a shadow shadow exclude no shadow for these guys and we don't want inactive opacity because we've had that in the past and at some point in time it, it starts to get boring so we've set okay no transparency but you can always set it back i suggest 0 0.9 we used it in the past that's that's okay um you see there's these these green lines just means i added text so the right one is the one from the official github the left one is what we use and all it does is explain more right at linux uh, learning uh, linux version linux distribution so lots of more more information than just this text here this code and we don't use the fading fading is true if you do fading true and certainly at uh, fade delta 30 that's really gonna be very slow that your window fades away when you close it so that's not good but we use it for, um, we don't use fading since it actually slows you down if you close an application your terminal just go goes away slowly fading in steps and this is the fade delta and 5 is much better than 30. so all the green stuff is text as you can see text 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 the major thing that i just also explained on, uh, on discord is you need to decide what's best for you glx or xrender standard we use xrender there are no issues for me here there's no issues on the virtual box and um, but again this is a completely different version so it might be we need to review and revisit everything since it's uh, a really a, a jump from four to five and we've seen it in the parameters that are gone and the new parameters that are in as well so all text the vsync is now set to none i believe it was set to something else i believe it was that one that we had set but um, so I followed a few of the settings that he had so the official official document or, or content.conf I followed a few of the options but uh, another other things I just um, like for instance uh, opacity we don't use 0 0.75 we choose 0 0.9 but, I mean these are safe settings this is just about opacity so we can choose your opacity yourself but um, basically we have a new content conf and we're going to experiment with it we need to figure it out again and uh, see what's best on uh, our system on your system and particularly so let me repeat it if you are skimming the video this is the major line that is actually right down here i've put it all the way at the top because it's that important but i'm following now the github online from this person here this usually or something usually right something like that and um let's see what comes up uh, in the f in coming months if he's going to update his content.conf uh, there and so, so we can easily follow and track the changes and see what will put in in the new content conf by the way this content conf is uh, on all five desktops the same i've tested it out it works on all machines and it works on all the virtual boxes that i've tried so give it a, a go you know now that there is a big big major change and there's one thing more you should know um, i've made sure that on every desktop that you have a PSPWM that you have a backup. So there's an, an old Compton Com from today, actually 2019, January 27. And we had also experimental previously and the Compton original. And uh, if it helps, you maybe can go and have a look at and compare all these three. But I'm guessing you'll get a headache from it because it's really uh, not that simple to compare th these three things. But um, so there is a backup that's my point if if you're stuck and uh, we'll follow up what he what he will be updating so december 21st 2018 was the last update for the content conf but i'm sure there will be more following and he's uh, really updating everything 
so that's good and all the issues are being followed up so that's all great to see that somebody actually picked it up to ensure that we have transparency fading and shadow those three are the major things that it will do for us okay well have fun uh, using compton and uh, maybe i should uh, do one more thing and as always show you guys guys don't always ask me there is this compton arch wiki read 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 a lot of information is here this is your schooling this is wiki archlinux.org and everything is on here i know the first time you read it you say second time it's better and after a few times you say i get it so let's give it some time it's it's back to university and start learning all right cheers